Hello everyone, how you all been today? I hope that you all have a blessed day. Anyway, hopefully I will or have or is. Anyway, so today we're going to be talking about an episode touched by an angel. Now I cannot remember the, the name of the episode because my memory is very bad. But listen, uh, to me the episode is about um, us coming to grips with lies and us coming to grip with our own mortality. In the episode, they had somebody that had uh, AIDS and they were dying from it. And they didn't want to tell anybody, but eventually the truth came out. And, you know, that's something like, in my own personal life, sometimes I don't want to say the uh, truth. Sometimes I want to live in our life, but the truth will set you free. It's like that old thing goes true and set you free. And, uh, yeah, so we need to work together and be honest with each other about our problems before it's too late. Because things could easily turn, could easily take a turn for the worse, and we might never see somebody that we've seen today. We might, we might lose like a family member or uh, somebody else due to, you know, something like drugs or alcohol. But, but listen, we, and, and uh, also he was gay and I'm not, I don't support uh, that. I'm just being honest, I don't support that. Y'all can leave all kind of hate comments or whatever. I don't support that. I'm a real Christian. I do not support that. But uh, anyway, so, um, yeah, and because he has that, he's dying, and it's Christmas time during it, which, and, and it makes it so sad. But at the uh, ending of it, man, it, the ending of it is just magnificent. I mean, I don't want to spoil it for y'all who haven't seen it, but y'all should really see it. I I didn't spoil much. I should have put a spoiler one at the beginning. I don't know. I'll always forget about that. But uh, yeah, and uh, sometimes we need to come to grips with our own mortality. We're not invulnerable people. We can We have our limits. We can, you know, the devil. He can uh, do all of these horrible things to us. Do all of these nasty things to us. But as Christians, let me put let me closer. As Christians, we are. Uh, we need each other, and we need each other badly. And sometimes we have good intentions. Like sometimes, uh, like let's say, uh, I use this as an example a long time ago, but would you tell a five year old there's no such thing as Santa? I mean, I don't know if it comes from out of nowhere, but sometimes we have to answer questions like that. And sometimes those questions have to deal with our mortality. A lot of us might not see, you know, Sam Claus versus our mortality, but the point of it is, it's a lie. And if we keep on telling a lie, then, uh, then that lie, then we'll have to make a new lies to cover from that, for the old lies. And then, yeah. so, uh, I just hope that God continues to use me to reach people in His name. And I realize that I'm not perfect. Like in the episode, the people in the people, the main characters, they weren't perfect. They made their mistakes. It got to the point where they needed angels to come help them. That's how bad things got. And I like to thank God for whenever He does intervene in people's lives. I know that sometimes uh, it's our own fault, but God, we have a loving God.
And the Bible says, Holy is the Lord God Almighty, that his will be on earth now. And if I keep on looking to the left, I'm sorry, but that's where the time is at. I didn't think about putting it on my phone. And I already started, so. Also, um, we, uh, we also do, we do Touch by Angel slash Christian movies on Tuesdays. And on every day, we do a biblical podcast. And on every day, we do a gameplay video. So, yeah, normally I'm pretty busy and active whenever it comes to doing videos. Which, that's how I like it. I like being... It's not overwhelming me. I think if I were to add, like, one, maybe two more videos per day, that would overwhelm me. But it's not. Also, uh, I'm looking for a way to... Uh, to, sh to play games on my phone. I'm not really sure how I'm going to do that. I have to play games on my phone and record them. And I can't do it live because my internet's not, the best, not good enough. But for example, right now, uh, I'm offline. Which, that's one of the reasons why I'm doing this video to pass the time. That one is to serve God. Yeah, I know that um, that sometimes we put things before before God, and sometimes we are like, we shouldn't have done this, that, or that, or we shouldn't have done this, that, or that, or we shouldn't have done that. But listen, instead of worrying about what we should have done, we need to work. We need to do what we need to do. And sometimes that is being honest with ourselves and admitting we need help. That's what happened in the episode. Somebody. Um, well, he didn't say he needed help, but he, uh, he was taking all kind of pills and stuff. And listen, to, for me, taking prescribed, uh, drugs is good, but whenever you, and, and, uh, sometimes drugs that are not prescribed is also good, but listen, I recommend that. I recommend only, uh, if, you, if you're not prescribed, make sure that there's a good myth, make sure that there's a reason why you take them. Don't just take them because you're addicted to them. Take them because, uh, you need it. And for whatever reason, the doctor's not prescribing it. And tell the doctor that you're taking the medicine. Because we don't want it to interact with other medicines, or we don't want no severe uh, side effects from like anything else. And listen, God loves you. He does. There's a God out there that loves you, people. You want proof? Read your Bible. Study His Word. Look up the history of the Bible. I mean, there are like thousands and thousands of videos about talking about the history of the Bible. I was, I recently watched one called, uh, what was it called? What was the name of the channel? I think it was called the 10 Minute, one, the 10 Minute Bible, uh, no, how, what was it called? I'm sorry, I can't remember. The one hour, ten minute Bible set thing, I don't know, I might put it in the description if y'all ask me to. The ten minute Bible challenge? Yeah, I, I'm not good with names, I'm so sorry. That medicine messes with my, uh, memories plus, uh, I'm getting older. I mean, I'm, I'm not even 30 yet, and I'm never going to be bad. But uh, anyway, let's go back to the episode. So yeah, so sometimes we need to be honest with ourselves and be honest with our loved ones about our problems. Because we don't know what tomorrow holds. And, um, I know that times can be hard. But there's a guy out there that loves you people. People right now are dying or having suicide or having uh, uh 
well, or dying because of suicide, and they were dying could have been could have been prevented. But a lot of them don't know this, but there's a God with them. He said, I'll be with you always, even until the end of the age. And God's with them right now. And if you know somebody, or if you are somebody that's going through uh, uh, having bad thoughts, you need to call the National Suicide Prevention Hotline if you live in the U.S. If you don't live in the U.S., well, I don't you could probably Google what country you live in and you probably find a program. But yeah. And suicide is something very, very serious, people. I, I stress that a lot because I have had thoughts before and it came close. Closer than I would like to admit. And why do we have them thoughts? Well, sometimes, sometimes, sometimes it's uh, genetics, sometimes it's stress, sometimes it's a combination of both. Sometimes it's maybe something else random, random that I didn't think of. But there's a guy out there that loves you people. Don't give up on him. And listen, the Bible said, uh, in a Bible verse that I, I, I read today, uh, it says, Seek me with all, you with all your heart and you will find me. What does that mean? That means that we need to seek God with all of our strength, all of our might, all of our intelligence, and we'll find Him. Yeah. So, uh, if y'all have any questions, any comments, any ways to think I could improve my videos, anything that you didn't like about it, or heck, maybe even something that you liked about it, leave it in the comments and give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Thumbs up for good, thumbs down for bad. That helps me whenever it comes to, uh, you know, understanding my audience. You know, I don't do these videos because uh, I want to make money. I do it because A, that's what God wants me to do. B, I like doing videos. And I know he wanted to come up there, but the TV screen is a little hot, higher than the, uh, where the camera's at. Yeah. Also, uh, please keep me in your prayers. I started doing video games again. But I have to watch it with that because video games can be violent and violent, not not in any good way. And I'm trying to, uh, plus, um, there can be like copyright issues or issues with certain songs or issues with certain brands or, you know, things like that. And I stopped doing the dogs of the day because I just ran out. And I also stopped doing the prayers of the day because, well, I ran out of ideas. But I'm now looking for something else to fill that sort of void. And I need your help with that. And I hope that uh, I've been a blessing to y'all. And that... Uh, no matter what happens, y'all know one thing, there's a God out there that loves y'all. He sent his only begotten son on the cross for y'all. That's how much he loves y'all. And I believe if he God, if it would have been just for me, he would have still sent his son. Yes, and right now I'm doing Lego Batman, and I plan on doing other Lego games. I'm thinking about Lego Indiana Jones. I don't want to play Lego Star Wars because the original has a, a uh, level that's hard and the second one has a level that's hard and the third one, well that's, I, I think that, that was only released for handhelds and the fourth one is the newest one and that I can't play on my computer because I don't have a regular, I don't have a regular computer, I have a Mac.
But uh, anyway, if y'all want me to play like an indie game, just let me know. Also, if y'all have any prayer requests, y'all can comment or y'all can tell me personally on uh on Facebook or y'all can say it's an unspoken prayer request, which means that y'all want me to pray for you for y'all, but y'all don't want to tell me why. Which you know, not everybody needs to know our business. Well, my, that's what I look at. Now, everyone wants to need, need to know my business. If I want to ask a pastor to pray for me, if I don't want to tell him why, then that's still better than not telling him at all. Yeah. And listen, God loves you. No matter what you did wrong, no matter who you wronged, no matter how bad things have gone, He loves you. God said, cool, I will be with you always, even until the end of the age, and He means it. And this video might be coming out a little late. I don't know. I uh, have to look at my upload schedule. But it's gonna be late for me because uh normally uh I haven't been uh, recording videos because I was having some trouble with my uh C D player but I got some things changed around and now it seems to be working good, praise God. And now we can do uh now we can get back now I can get back to doing that touch my name from the Christian movie stuff. And uh, I don't want to do, um, I, I don't want to, like, I don't want to have trouble with, like, copyright and stuff. So that's why, I, that's one reason why, um, uh, well, I, let me take that back. I, I have trouble with, um, uh, whenever it comes to capturing directly from a CD to my, uh, capture, uh, software I have trouble with that plus even if I wouldn't have trouble with that there are still some rights issues because I don't own any rights to any movies so some people might not want their movie to be put on YouTube some people might or some people might want a chunk of the money which I don't make no money but you know I, I literally have never made a penny from God's house we do have a Patreon page, so the link's in the description. Or at least it is on YouTube, whenever y'all on different sites, I'm not sure. Yeah, so, uh... Yeah, and this, the Bible says... I know the Bible says give 10% of what you can to your church, but I believe this. I believe these days, give what you can to your church. Because times are hard, and you might not be able to give 10%, but you might be able to give 5% or 1%. As long as you're giving what you, uh, as long as you're giving something, or it could be, uh, you might do some, I don't work for the church on the side, you know, do something for, for, for not your glory, not your church's glory, but for God's glory. And listen, I don't like to admit this, but the money I have isn't really my money. It's money that was given to me by God. And for those of you who are wondering uh, why, I don't, why I don't work for my money, I have Tourette's syndrome. I have high blood pressure. I have, uh, I've had a history of depression. Uh, yeah, and... Well, all th if all three of them combine, that's not a good thing. I mean, it's been good lately, but we'll have to see how things go on from here. India. So, uh, if y'all have any, like, questions, y'all can, uh, ask me, or y'all can Google me, or maybe if y'all have any, uh, like, let's say I, uh, let me give you an example. 
I had a dream. Uh, where the devil was, he looked like God, but he told me to do something in a certain way, and I didn't do it. And I'm glad I did because then he might have tried to fool me with something else. And I talked to my pastor about that, and that's what he, he basically said. I just told y'all. And it wasn't that really, it wasn't that bad. It's just, um, it's just, I, he just wanted me to do something in a certain way. It wasn't that bad. It wasn't like, wow, hurt yourself or somebody else, no. But he looked just like Jesus looked. Or, you know, what we think of Jesus looked of today. But yeah, why well, I didn't fall for that trick. And sometimes we need uh, somebody to ask questions that, that we might have a hard time phrasing. And for those of you who need that, my phone number is in the description. If you need somebody to talk to, just uh, please text me and tell me why you texted me. And tell me that uh, it's from YouTube. Because if it's some random call, I probably won't answer it. Because I don't, uh, you know, right now there's a whole bunch of uh, scam calls going around and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, I just hope that God can bless all of us. in different ways. And what do I mean by that? I mean that, you know, somebody gets a blessing and somebody else gets another blessing. And, and uh listen, if you wanna feel if if you're having a bad day, then put on some Christian music. Listen to this video. Put on something positive. Cause they said that distraction I used to go to this therapy stuff and distractions. Sometimes we can't solve our problems right now, but the distraction can help us solve it later. And, um, yeah, so sometimes we need a distraction. Whether that be a Christian song or, uh, some Christian music. But anyway, let's get back to the bit, to uh, the episode. Yeah, so in the episode, um, it's very, I, I love the ending of it. I love it. I don't want to spoil the ending of it, no. So for those of you who haven't seen it, go ahead and watch it. For those of you who want to know what, uh, season and episode it is look in the title i think it's season three let me see i might have the case somewhere i got to see i know i got the cd but i don't know where i put the case at huh i put it up but oh uh, yeah and listen god loves you and to me, that's something else that the episode, uh, talk, that the, that is like a, uh, like the episode doesn't talk about it, but, well, actually, let me take that back. The episode does talk about it. I just remember there is a line that said that, uh, that, you know, uh, a person was talking about them being a failure, and they was like, no, you're not a failure. God knows you, knows you. And you're not a failure. That's what they basically said. And to me, that means a lot too because I thought that I was a failure. Which I'm not. I mean, no offense, but it, uh, I, I, for a failure, I got a good computer. I got a good family. I got a good camera. I got a good mic. I know how to work all my stuff. I mean, I don't, might not know like, every little thing about that, but I know the basics at least. 
If I fail, yeah, I must be doing pretty good. Yeah, so, uh... Yeah. And listen, nobody's a failure, okay? If you think you're a failure right now, you're not. Because God created you for a reason. Now, sometimes we we don't always know what the, those reasons are. They might be to help somebody, to uh take to uh like uh clean the like. Let me give you an example. I used to uh clean the church, and I miss those days. And some, and that was my purpose for a while, I guess. So my purpose became uh doing God's house. And right now, the purpose of God's house is to reach as many people as I can, and to have a re and to inspire pe people to have a relationship with God. And to further people's relationship with God. Th those are the three things that uh, I just came up with them on the spot. You see, this isn't scripted. So I ramble on and on a lot. But I ramble on and on a lot about things that I think that are important. And if I go too far off subject, sometimes I stop myself. But anyway, you, listen, you're not a failure. A bunch of people right now are thinking that. A bunch of people are thinking that they could have done this better or that better or whatever better. Or is it, they, they got some of us that are thinking of uh, hurting ourselves or somebody else. But please don't do that. Because you don't want to kill, you don't, you don't want to hurt somebody and you don't want to kill somebody, which I know that those. Well, I know that, you know, if you kill somebody, you hurt them, normally. Yeah. And one day, maybe I would, uh, right now my goal for God's house is to, uh, continue to reach more and more people. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I could reach more if I went on Facebook more. But I don't go on Facebook much, I go on YouTube a lot. And I love YouTube. It's where uh you know all my favorite creators are. Sometimes I go on TikTok, but that's not often. Oh, and uh listen as for me stopping the TikTok stuff, I just ran out of stuff to talk about. I mean, every day you now it was um getting a little stressful. So that's how I'm much rather YouTube anyway over TikTok, but that's just my own personal preference. Just my own personal preference. But, uh, and listen, God loves you for who you are. Don't try to be something that you're not. God loves you for who you are. Yeah. Yeah, so, uh, I hope that y'all have been having a blessed day. And I hope that I will have a blessed day as of the time. Because this will come out uh, either Tuesday or next Tuesday. I don't really remember. And I can't go online right now because my parents are using the internet for some stuff. And I don't have a schedule with me because that would be ridiculous. My schedule. I mean, most of it will be Lego Batman, this, that, or that, or that. Because I do, 
Listen, I record two gameplay videos a day, but I only air one a day. And the, and the other one that I don't air is for the next day. Well, let me put it like this. I, I, I do my videos. Uh, I, I got one on it. I make sure I get at least one uh, gameplay video every day and one biblical podcast every day. Sorry, I just hit the mic. And on Tuesdays, I do uh, this. That's everything else. So as you can imagine, yeah, it's taking up a lot of room on my uh, SD card. Well, okay. Yeah, so if y'all have any, like, uh, let's say y'all wanted me to review an uh, old show, like, uh, I, I don't know, old yellow, is an old movie thing. Or, like, maybe y'all wanted me to review uh, something that might not necessarily be, listen, it, it might not necessarily be bad, but it's sort of like in the middle, and I just want my thoughts about it. Let me know, and I might tell y'all after I see it, or I might uh, do a review if I, if I think it's appropriate. Yeah. And listen, right now, there are people that are starving. They need our help. The people need to be fed. There's an old saying, if you, if you give a fish, if you give a man a fish, you feed him for a day. If you teach a man to fish, you feed him for uh, the rest of his life. So sometimes that's what we need to do. We need to go out there and teach people how to fish, how to become fishermen of men. And the Bible calls that Christians. Christians are supposed to be fishermen of men. Well, the Bible doesn't say that particularly, but but it does say that we we are being fishermen of men, but it don't say uh, Christians. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Anyway, this video is going to be a long one. I know it. But that's kind of intentional because I've done better to do other than to sit here and serve God. Well, I say I've done better to do. I could be watching move, an, uh, uh, a bad movie or playing a bad video game. I'm trying to do something constructive and something that God won't want me to do. Yeah. If y'all have any questions about, let's say, uh, the Bible says, uh, I'll be with you always even until the end of the age. And it also says, uh, wherever two or more gathered in his name, he will be there. Why? Why do they both conflict? Well, to me that, like, I mean, to me, that's the Holy Spirit, because you got God is basically three beings: the Son, the Father, and the Holy Spirit, or Holy Ghost, or whatever you want to call him. I call him. Uh, I uh, use both terms for myself. But uh, yeah. And even Jesus asked God for him not to suffer, and God still made him suffer. See, it's kind of, it is a little confusing whenever you get down to it. It is a little confusing. Yeah. So, um, I hope that I've been a blessing to somebody, even one person. Because if, if all I reach is one person, then that person could, could get somebody, could reach somebody else. And I look at it like this. 
How many people did Christianity start out with? One, Adam. Then that went from Adam to Eve, then Cain, Abel, then uh, the rest of it. Uh, Christianity up to today. And if God can do that with one person, now imagine what he can do with 15. Or maybe, maybe something like, not that big, like five. Imagine what he could do with more, with more generations of Christians coming to know him and honor him and glorify him. Just imagine. Anyway, I've been going on for about 35 minutes. Um, yeah, also, uh, please keep my dad in your prayers. He had a stroke. And my mama, she works at Walmart. And my sisters get married. And my little brother, he has school. And me, I have my health problems. But my life, I, I think my life is going back pretty good right now. I mean, it could always be better. It's going back pretty good. Yeah, so, um, yeah, just keep me in your prayers. Plus, whenever I go to church, my Tourette's acts up, which means I have random, I have muscle movements that I cannot control. And I might, like, if I'm walking, I might fall. Or one time, uh, one time I hit a glass cabinet and I was knocked out. And one time I flipped my daddy in a restaurant, not to give him the uh middle finger, just flipped him uh and he fell. Yeah. So uh also I've been looking at the new Max and not gonna lie to you, they're looking pretty awesome and I want one but I, that price I just can't afford it. I think it starts at uh over three thousand dollars. Yeah, something like that. Well no, that's let me see the right that's the Mac Studio, I believe. The uh the Mac Mini or the press the uh the new Mac Mini is I don't know how much that's gonna cost. But uh, anyway, uh, I would like to get that simply to speed up editing and to speed up, uh, well, speed up editing and upload times. Probably wouldn't make my videos any longer or, or shorter because they're already long enough. At least in my opinion, they're long enough. Yeah, so, um, just if y'all have, like, any advice for me, let me know. And maybe y'all think that, hey, I shouldn't be using this camera, I should be using another one. For those of you who are wondering, I use an Elgato face cam. And they only, whenever I was looking, they only really had, they had the, I don't want to say, they had the less expensive ones, but the Elgato face cam. And the uh, Logitech Brio 4K, I think it's called, or it was at the time. That's my really only two options because I'm not, I don't want, you know, I want something simple. And I don't really have room for a regular camera. And I don't want to use my phone because I like to edit on my computer and I have trouble editing from my computer to my phone. I like phone my phone to my computer. Yeah, so I just wanted something simple. Which it is. Yeah, and I thank God for, for it. And I thank God I'll be able to afford all of this. Because they got some people that can't afford none. Right now with gas, is, with the price of gas going up, with uh, unemployment uh, going up and down. And, um, with just all of this negativity, 
running around. We need each other. We need each other as Christians and as young human beings we need each other. And how do we show our love for one another? Well we do think we can say uh we can pray for our people, we can uh do things for them, we can give them some advice. But be careful with that last one because some people might ignore the last one, especially if you're doing something that you're telling them not to do. But listen, the Bible says, for all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. All of us have sinned. All of us. Sorry, I had to point. Yeah, so, um, just give me and my family in your prayers, please. Also, I would like better internet. I mean, faster upload speeds would be nice. Right now, it, t it takes about three to four times the length of the, like, in my videos an hour long, it'll probably take, It'll probably, done, it'll probably take you about four hours to do an hour video. Three and a half to four hours. Which anything to speed that up I would like. Other than uh, sacrificing the quality of the video. Because I believe in quality over quantity. What does that mean? That means I believe in making one excellent thing that, as opposed to a million okay things. And that's my brother right there. That's one of my brothers on the screen. Yeah, and also, uh, please keep hearing your prayers. He recently got a job, and uh, he he's uh he's a hard worker. And yeah, so uh, let's just keep each other in our prayers, folks. That's what life. That that's one of the reasons why they call us the body of Christ, or people like, or people are called part of the body of Christ according to the Bible, because we, whenever one part of the body hurts, the rest should help it. And if we don't, then they got something that, that's that. Well, sometimes let me rephrase that. If if they don't. If we don't help each other and we don't have any good reason to, and uh, any good reason not to, then God's going to look at that and be like, why aren't you helping this person? They have a blessed you with this, that, or, 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 or why aren't you helping them? And sometimes the answer is we don't want to. And sometimes God's like, well, since you know what, you don't want to help him out, I'm not helping you out with this. Are you going to go through this now because of that? Yeah. And to me that uh also goes back to the uh to the episode because it's about sometimes again help is just talking about our problems. So that's what I'm getting at. Sometimes again help is just talking about our problems and that's ignoring it or lying about it, it it can be devastating for the long term. It might be okay for the short term. By short term, I mean as the here and now. But the long term, I mean, uh, like, uh, you know, how do I explain it? Uh, yeah, uh, and it might be okay for, um, you know, it might seem like it's okay, but it's not. Things are, because a lot of times we put on this fake, we put on this, like, mask, you could say, with that, this happy face, and we're always happy all the time. Our house is day on, it's going by pretty good. We never know it's not in reality. No, it's not in reality. No, it's not. 
And uh, please keep me in your prayers. Uh, you know, with everything that's been going on, plus in my whole country, plus it seems like the entire world's falling apart right now with Russia, the U.S., and China, and Ukraine. I mean, things could easily heat up and start turn into World War Three right now. But yeah, so let's just um, just keep each other in our prayers, folks. We need each other. We need each other badly. We don't need to uh, like it's okay to correct somebody, but it's not okay to mock somebody. If that makes any sense. Like to make fun of somebody because of something. But you should be like, hey, uh, I, I don't want to be rude, but maybe you could try this next time you do that. Or maybe you could not do this next time. Or maybe, you know, something like that. But don't try to be rude. Now, I understand some people are very prideful of their work, like me and my videos. And some people might get offended. But listen, you can't always, uh, you can't always, uh, what's it called? Not a fan, but, uh, you can't always, uh, satisfy everybody. Anyway, bye guys. Hey guys, if y'all like this video and y'all want to share the word of God, y'all can like and subscribe and comment. And if y'all want to donate some money, we have a Patreon page. Now the Patreon Stuff starts at $3 a month, and it goes up to $25. And the reason why we do it monthly is because that gives us an idea of what we're going to be able to make, like, for the next month. Anyway, bye, guys.